Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. After a very long and fun weekend, as you can see, we're gonna be getting onto a very exclusive install of the Ram Bar by JeepJeep.Tech. I've had a very fun weekend experiencing this thing and this product, and I can't wait to show you how to put it in y'all's Jeep. Go. Alrighty guys, so the first step to installing the Ram Bar is we gotta remove a lot of this up in the front up here, okay? So to do this, you're gonna need a Phillips head and a T20 Torx bit, okay? Now the Phillips head is gonna be, you've got two holes right here. The Phillips head is gonna be for the bottom hole right here. And you're gonna be taking out this little plastic screw and this little insert, okay? Let's so we'll put that down here. And next on the list is you're gonna get your T20 Torx bit. And there's two screws up here for the windshield visor, window visor. And we're gonna undo those and we're gonna remove this. So let's get to that real quick. And then we'll take all this off. Okay, so now that we got that done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna reach up here and we're gonna just pull this panel off, okay? It's really simple to do. It's just got this little white clip holding it on and we're gonna just put this to the side. And now that we've got the other side also done, we're going to reach up here and this has got five metal clips holding it in. And we're just gonna pull them out. It's gonna pop out. Actually, it's got six metal clips and we're going to disconnect the wiring harness for the mirror if you have the uh, um, light dimming mirror for your nighttime travels and we will no longer need this item for the jeep okay so we can go ahead and throw that out and next on the list is we're going to get to putting the wire loom or the redirection to cover up the wires and any future wires that you're gonna put in here from accessories such as light switches and other things of that nature. So we're gonna get that installed and then we'll be installing the RAM bar itself. All right guys, so now we're gonna be putting on the channel for the wires and what it's gonna do is it's gonna go right here above the windshield and it's gonna basically be just like that. It's gonna help hold the wires in place and it's got these little covers that will snap on. So to do this, you're gonna pre-clean your area with some acetone or alcohol, preferably alcohol. And we're gonna peel off the adhesive. And then we're gonna put this in the desired location. It adheres pretty quickly. Um, right now it is in the mid 60s. So I wouldn't necessarily do it in a really cold temp, but right now being in the mid 70s, it should be okay. Or 60s, sorry. And now we're gonna be putting on our wire covers. You're gonna have to trim these just a tad bit to fit. Oh, off. All right. And if you don't wanna trim them, you can do it just like that and it'll be perfectly fine. So we got that up there. Mirrors in place, wires are good. Now we're gonna get to the fun part. Uh, we need to put these brackets back in place, okay? So like I said, this will go inside the hole up here. It's in between the, um, it's a cutout in the roll cage fabric that you'll notice. 
and it just slips right back in. One for that side. Okay guys, so now we got our corner pieces back on and that popped up, stopped. Okay guys, so now we got all the corners back on and we got the wire loom guide in place. We are going to put on the brackets. So the brackets need to be put on like this. You'll notice that they're really floppy and that is so once you get it mounted, they'll they'll stiffen up and everything and it'll be perfectly fine. But what you're gonna do is they're gonna be like this, okay? You're gonna see these two lines. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hold it like so, okay? You're gonna put it in the farthest one on each side. So there's gonna be four of them. You're gonna do the ones closest to the hooks on each side for the roof, because you're gonna have to take your top off for this. You're gonna put it in there and you're just gonna twist it, okay? And it should be facing up, okay? So, now that we have have that done, we're gonna proceed on to actually installing the bar, which I highly recommend having two people to do, but I'm gonna show you how to do it uh, by just one person. That way, if you're unable to actually have a second individual, you'll still be able to do the install. Go ahead and cut. Yeah. Okay, guys, so to get this done one person without having to actually need a second pair of hands, but I highly recommend getting a second pair of hands. You wanna use your mirror. You're gonna to wanna to tilt it either direction. And when you get these clips installed, you basically wanna just start to, you wanna put one screw in and start to feed it in the hole, okay? And then you'll do likewise for the opposite side. And it's gonna be a little bit difficult. Like I said, if you can really, this is a two man install. Um, if you can get you a second person, I definitely recommend it 110% because this is not a very easy one man thing to do. All right, so now that we got that installed, very rock solid, there is going to be aftermarket options for uh, the Ram bar, uh, for especially visors. So with this on, as you can see, there's no more way for you to clip your factory visors into place. But what I've found out, until you can get the aftermarket ones that uh, Jeep Jeep Dot Tech is having produced, which will mount from what I've seen, will mount underneath here and they'll fold up, is you mount, I'll show you, let me mount this real quick and then we will go on to showing you how to actually locate them. We've got this installed and you see you got it folded up, okay? But it doesn't lock down. Now it doesn't rattle as much as you think it would, but it doesn't look as good as factory. So what you can do, I found out, is you flip it down, fold it out and flip it up. And when you got your roof on and everything, it just tucks up nicely right there, okay? So as a temporary fix, until you want to run the, until you can get the aftermarket, um, visors which will be see-through or you can keep the factory ones and run them like so you won't be able to bend them back nearly as far but you'll be able to still use them adjustably to what you need and if you want to use them for the side like their typical function you can also still have that capability and like i said some way you just put them up like that I've been running them like this for a while and I honestly don't even notice a difference um, from my own perspective. Yeah. Okay guys, so with this bar, you might be asking, how am I going to attach things to it? Jeep Jeep Dot Tech is a, a dealer for ram mounts and they are, this bar is designed around these mounts basically to where 
This is their one inch, or on their website, they call a size B mount. And what it does is when you get it assembled, you got this little bar, you're gonna slide it inside the channel and you just twist and it locks down. Okay, we'll do the same for here. You got five, or you got six locations you can enter in from. You got here at the screws on each side and then right here as well. And we'll put this one just right down here. And you can mount everything imaginable up here from your phone to your GPS, to a tablet, to a backup monitor for a backup camera system, to uh, Jeep Jeep dot text exclusive uh, power modules that they're making that they'll have on their website as well. They, everything that you, everything that Ram mount has will be uh, compatible with this mount as well. Okay. And now we're going to get on to reinstalling the hard top to demonstrate how there is no interference and how it sits nice and flush alongside with the top. All right, guys. So now that we got the roost back on. We're going to reattach fully, lock down the brackets. And as you can see, the clearance and everything fits perfectly fine. Uh, with the wire racetrack in place, you can tell that there's no gap. You can't see any of the metal and it looks very factory, okay? Temporarily, as I said, I'm gonna be running the factory visors like this. I'm still able to get the full functionality out of them on pulling over to the side for if you have direct light in your side. And you can also still use them like so. They don't fold down all the way, like I said earlier, but the functionality of still having a visor until one decides if they want to go with the aftermarket versions, which will be see-through, like I said, like sunglasses, where you won't have to have sunglasses and they'll fold up out of the way. Uh, they have available on their website, they're gonna have a power module. They'll, they are a Ram mount dealer. So they're gonna have everything that Ram mount sells available. So from your iPads to your iPhones, to your Samsungs, basically to any electrical device that you can think of, you'll be able to mount from here. Would I recommend mounting the laptop? Probably not. It's probably gonna be a little excessive on weight, but could you do it? Probably so, but I don't recommend it. Okay, that about concludes the install for this product. Again, I've used it for about a week or two. I really like it. I've had no issues with it. Overall, the functionality of it, I can see myself using this constantly for a phone mount. I just use a little suction cup on my windshield. I like to clear that up to where my phone will mount up here instead. For GPS and trail rides, I'm going to put cameras down here and all other sorts of devices. I'll be doing full install videos of every product I put on this to demonstrate how to do it and the functionality and how I feel about it overall. Again, hope you all stay tuned to that. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you would, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe down below, and I'll be happy to answer all y'all's questions. Catch y'all later.